Let us look at another identity. This time we see a minus b whole cube. Okay. Now I'm not getting into the derivation of this formula, right? But I will just kind of sum up as to what is the value of a minus b whole cube. It is a cube, okay, minus b cube minus three a b a minus b right so if you see basically the terms remain the same it's just that except for a except a cube all have negative sign or the minus sign right so now without getting into the derivation of this formula I will take two examples where I will use this identity. Let's say the first one is 2x minus 3y whole cube and the next one is 1 upon 2x minus 3 upon 4y cube. Okay. Now in this case, if you notice, the value of a is equal to 2x and because this is minus, this is minus, so the value of b is equal to 3y, right? Once you have these two values, you just put them into this equation, which is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b. So my a is 2x, 2x cube minus b is 3y, 3y cube minus 3 into a into b into a minus b. Again, a is what? 2x minus 3y. Right? So 2x cube will be what? 2 cube which is 8 x cube minus 3 cube will be 27 y cube minus 3 into 2 is 6 into 3 is 18 x into y is xy 2x minus 3y and we can then finally open the brackets minus 18xy into 2xy, 18 into 2, 36, x into x, x square, y, minus into minus is plus, 54xy into y is y square. And this is basically your answer. Again, just like in the case of a plus b, I told you, a plus b whole cube actually, I told you that many a times you might be given certain particular values. So let's say someone were to give you the value of a cube minus b cube, okay, and a minus b, and ask you what is the value of 3ab into a minus b, you can find it out. So these are basically three whole parts. This 3ab minus b can be also be written as 3a square b, right? Plus 3a b square right so you just need to watch out what values are given to you put them in this equation and get the answer getting on with our second problem that we have we have something in fractions but the funda is the same the value of a here is 1 upon 2x and the value of b is 3 upon 4y. The only difference between this and this is that the value out here is in fractions. Right? So therefore, you need to kind of take the cubes of these fraction or put these fraction in the equation. Let's put that a cube. a cube will be what? 1 upon 2x cube minus Please note all the signs are minus 3 upon 
by cube minus 3 into 1 upon 2x into 3 upon 4y bracket a minus b. Right? Now doing the cube of these things, one cube is, we know that a upon b whole cube is equal to a cube upon b cube. So this will be what? 1 cube which is 1 upon 2x cube which will be 8x cube minus. Similarly here, 3 cube is 27, 4y cube will be 64y cube minus 3 into 1 is 3 into 3 is 9 upon 8xy into again if you take the LCM of these two you will get 8xy okay or you actually can just kind of skip this just let's do it only 8xy when divided by 2x gives you y so you can write this as y minus 8y when 8xy when divided by this gives you 2x 6x okay so basically this is your answer if you want to solve it a little more you can take something common out of these what is that common link it is 1 upon 8 when when you take this out what you remain is 1 upon x cube how if you divide this by 1 upon 8 you will get 1 upon x cube minus 27 upon 8 y cube minus 9 upon xy into y minus 6x upon 8xy right and this is your answer so the only different thing here was the value of a and b it was in fractions so you have to solve everything in fractions